whether you like it or don't like it, sit down and look at it because it's the best going today. Woo! G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, please share this video, support your boy, support good content at all times. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Box with G5 Jeff TV. That's B O X W I T G5 Jeff TV. And if you guys don't mind, hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I drop that heat. April 21st, 2018, which is tomorrow, Barclay Center, Brooklyn, New York City. The co-feature on the Adrian Broner, Jesse Vargas card is going to be Jermall Charlo versus Hugo Centennial Jr. And this is a fight at 160 pounds. Basically, the winner is going to be the mandatory for Triple G. Now, I thought Jamal Charlo was already the mandatory for Triple G, but you know how these sanctioning bodies do. They uh, make up the rules and follow the rules on the fly. So we're not even going to get into all those technicalities. But... We're going to keep it real short, real simple, real sweet today. Question is, should Jamal Charlo be on upset alert versus Hugo Centennial Jr.? And my direct answer is no. And I'm going to tell you why. And it's not a disrespect to Centennial Jr., but more of a credit to Jamal Charlo. I think Jamal Charlo and his brother, Jamel Charlo, I think they're ascending as fighters. You know, you can get to a certain point in your career, you could either stay on the same level or be on a decline. I think Jamal Charlo, I think his stock is rising. I think it's, it's going up. And you can see the improvement in Jamal Charlo every time he goes out into the ring. Now, as a fighter, you can have a defining fight or a defining moment within a fight that can define your career. And I think... Tramal Charlo had really had that with Julian J. Rock Williams in his last fight at 154 pounds. Now, you know, of course, Jamal Charlo is known for him, is known for basically throwing that counter 45 shot over the right hand of uh, Julian J. Rock Williams and uh, damn near put Julian J. Rock Williams to sleep with that shot. But it just showed a certain level of skill that we never seen from Jamal Charlo. And then on top of that, he has the power. And then, you know, Julian J. Rock Williams and Jamal Charlo kind of beefing after the after the fight was over. It kind of showed a mean streak with Jamal Charlo as well, which I personally like to see in the fighters uh, that I like to watch. But Jamal Charlo's last fight, I mean, he fought somebody uh, would have looked like he had like a wooden leg. <laughs> like he just looked real crippled out there. Um, but Jamal Charlo, he still took care of business, you know, and he has this fight coming up. So I expect for him to be sharper than he looked the last time. Now, Hugo Centennial Jr., um, he's an interesting opponent because he's basically the same height as Jamal Charlo, if not taller than Jamal Charlo. So it's going to be interesting to see Jamal Charlo adjust to someone that's actually his height because he's one of the taller guys in the division. And the reason why I don't have Jamal Charlo on upset alert versus Hugo Centennial Jr. based off of what I've seen is three things. Number one, Jamal Charlo is technically sharper than Hugo Centennial Jr. So Hugo Centennial Jr. can't go in there with the plans of trying to outbox Jamal Charlo because that's just going to be a losing proposition for him. Number two, when you can't outbox somebody, I think you have to bring a certain level of awkwardness to your style to possibly hit your opponent with a shot that they can't see, and that's the one that hurts the most. And Hugo Centennial Jr.'s style seems to be straight up and down. Um, I don't see anything really special about him, and I don't really see him throwing any um, punch variety that would surprise Jamal Charlo. And the third thing and the most important thing is just I don't think Hugo Centennial got the smoke on them shots to get Jamal Charlo's attention. Now, Hugo Centennial Jr., he's a solid fighter, but I think it takes a little more than just being solid to beat Jamal Charlo. And I just don't see it happening. You know, I, of course, I, I didn't I don't think this fight was worthy of a prediction video because I don't think this is a 50-50 fight 
or a 60-40 fight or even a 70-30 fight. But, you know, just because a person has a slim chance of winning, you still have to ask the question of whether the favorite should be on upset alert in a particular fight. And this is one of those particular situations. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments section about this fight. G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.